Hi guys, welcome back to the second app review video. Uh, now I'm going to give a review on CM Transfer. CM Transfer is a file transferring or file sharing app which can transfer uh, media files or APK files at faster rates. Okay, now first let us step into the video. See here, now I'm having two devices. Uh, this is device 1 and device 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer a file from this device to this device. Okay, it doesn't need any special network connections like uh, 3G data, 2G data, Bluetooth or uh, nothing. Uh, it just need two things. The device which is going to send the file should have Wi-Fi tethering uh, enabled, uh, sorry, Wi-Fi enabled in it. And the device which is going to receive the file should have Wi-Fi tethering enabled in it. Uh, you don't worry, uh, CM Transfer will take care of those things for you. Now, I'm going to leave this device aside. You stay here. First of all, let us discuss about the interface design of this app. Uh, this is just a simple to use app. Uh, let us discuss about the interface design of this app. Uh, this is just a simple to use app. Uh, simple option C, this is the launcher screen. It's two buttons, one is to receive a file and the other is to send a file. Uh, you don't need okay. Here, if you see, here's a file manager. Uh, it is not actually a file manager, this is just a, like a history recorder. Uh, which records uh, keeps the record of all the files which are received from other devices to this device via CM transfer. And here comes sending history. Sending history states uh, records all the files which are sent from this device to another device. So it doesn't have that much advanced technologies to share, but it has it does its job as its best. This app has been released just before a month, so these are so only initial simple options are available in it. Anyway, it can transfer files at faster rates. Okay, now so that both devices which are going to transfer and receive a file should have CM Transfer app installed in it. Now I'm opening CM Transfer here. Okay, open. Now two devices having CM Transfer installed in it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send a file from this device. This is having CM transfer installed in it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send a file from this device. You can send photos, videos, um, music. And this is the exclusive feature of this app. Uh, category actually had this option. Uh, CM transfer can directly share apps installed in a device to another device. Now, uh, for example, let us take CM security. Yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the CM security. Okay, clash of clans. Clash of clans. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer clash of clans app from this device to this device. Uh, see, the size of clash of clans is 50.0 MB. Um, now what you should do is simply click on the button over here. Send. Send. Okay. Now what you should do is you should click on the receive file button in the device which is going to receive the file. Okay, now both the devices are going to be connected in a CM transfer network. Down, 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 down.
we are receiving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, mm, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. Uh, approximately how much seconds? Uh, 15 to 16 seconds. That's it. Well, now if you are going to transfer the same Clash of Clans APK file from your device to Bluetooth, then imagine how much time it will take. Yeah, it, uh, it will take more than one to two minutes, and not not even one minute. It will take more than three minutes to transfer the 50 MB file from one device to another device. So, but same transfer, transfer it in a faster rate, right? The next main feature of this app is okay. I'm going to leave this slide. Uh, if you are having three devices, one, two, and if I'm taking another device, so if the name of this device is device new, and if another device is coming into the network, uh, let let us assume it as uh, new two, when it is scanning for sending the files, it will list out both the devices here, new, new two. Then it will ask your opinion, which one, hey man, which one should I select? There are both the devices with CM transfer, then in that case you should select the device to which you want to transfer the app. Okay friends, these are the options available in CM transfer. So overall, um, uh, I've seen all the things. There are lots of drawbacks in CM transfer. For instance, if I'm opening it, I'm going to send a file. See, it will list out only pictures, video, music, and apps. Have you? Can you see text file, Word document, or any other file types listed out here? And even if I am stepping into my file manager, phone memory, if I'm going, for instance, see, this is a dummy file. Uh, if I'm trying to share this app from this file manager. See, it is listing out only Bluetooth, Google Drive, email, Gmail, and so on. It is not listing out CM transfer here. This means that CM transfer doesn't have a service plugin to share apps directly from your file manager to uh, other devices through CM transfer. So, these are the drawbacks of CM transfer. So, finally, 3.8 stars out of 5. That's it, guys. Uh, bye bye from ITA Sisters. Uh, if you like this video then just click on the like button or